Today is May 28th, 2009. I haven't posted anything on my uh, YouTube site for a while, so I'm going to stick this out here. My brother Kurt gave me a 302, and uh, we had uh, brute forced it up into the back of my Jeep. And uh, I needed to get it out of my Jeep when I got home. Uh, my uh, homemade cherry picker here that I fabricated out of... Uh, I think he called it an elevator lift. It was for uh, lifting pallets and it had a crank on it. Took a bunch of tube steel, um, bottle jack from uh, Sears, put that on there. Anyway, uh, this arm here wouldn't go down far enough to be able to get up underneath the back door of the Jeep. So what I did was I took these uh, uh, ramps, put it under the back tires, backed the Jeep up so the back end was higher, and then I got this uh, lift in and uh, took the motor out. Well, my next problem was this thing was hanging by uh, this hook and uh, a cable and I couldn't get it down low enough and the thing was hanging upside down dumping oil all over the place. Uh, combustion engines are really environmentally wonderful aren't they? <laughs> anyway, so uh, I figured I'm gonna take a block and tackle and I started out with uh, wherever I put it. Anyway, I got an old wooden block and tackle, tried that, and I wasn't comfortable with how that was handling itself. So uh, I bought some $3 pulleys that were rated at uh, 250 pounds each, took the wheels out of them, or these uh, little rollers, drilled them out, had a pin, and then I made this uh, block and tackle setup on the end of my uh, cherry picker. And then uh, put this crank, I had a 1,250 pound crank on there, and uh, that did the trick. So that uh, gave me the ability of moving this uh, up and down. Uh, and then I had, to play, had a place to put the uh, engine on just to be able to move it around a bit. So I took this uh, old welder's table and butchered the top off of that. And uh, I was already putting some uh, this angle around the top to uh, be able to make that a... Uh, a table where I was going to mount my big vise here and some other stuff with a big sh sheet of steel and uh, anyway so for right now I took a piece of uh, tube steel and a piece of uh, round tube stock whatever you call that I'm sorry and uh, welded that together and then I had some uh, threaded rod and put that through so I put that on uh, both sides and now I got a way to uh, roll this uh, 302 engine around. Somebody was uh, getting rid of this uh, 302. The city had called on him and they had to get rid of it. It was, uh, so he scrapped it. <laughs> it runs, it came out of a 70 Torino. So uh, there you have it. That's uh, my current immediate project that I'm uh, working on. 